This is the SE Electronics portable vocal booth, which I've just received today from musicmatter.com. It is the Project Studio version, so it's the cheaper version. If you look inside, it's got several rows of that spongy stuff, rather than a few panels, which you'll see on the more expensive one. The reason I've got this is because I wanted the one from Editor's Keys, the cheap version they do, which I've read good things about, but it was out of stock at musicmatter.com. So they said I could have this one for the same price, which I was very happy about, because I've read good things about this one as well. Being the cheaper one, this doesn't come with its own stand. This is my old mic stand that I'm using. And it comes with this attachment thing. And the main reason I wanted this is because I wanted it to be able to go low and high so I can record at different heights. It's very nice. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, put it together. So we're going to go back in time. Back when times were simpler and it was still in the box. We've got some sort of contraption. Paper. Actually, it's not paper, is it? It's uh, foam stuff. Right, what we got? Spanner. Or wrench? I don't know, what do you call it? Uh, stick. QC passed, which means it's going to be a lawyer soon. Right, where to begin? Hmm, instructions. Thank you for purchasing the reflection filter, portable vocal booth. Remove the reflection filter and stand assembly unit from packaging. Please keep the packaging safe to store the reflection filter when not in use or for transportation. It is robust, but parts may get damaged or lost in transit if not packaged properly. You should have the following parts. Refre reflection filter, stand assembly, support rod and spanner to fit the sp support rod. So, first things first, fix the stand clamp assembly in place on the neck of your microphone stand a few inches below the point where the shock mount is usually fixed or the main vertical support strut of the stand. So this thing has a clamp there and it looks like that is going to wrap around this or whatever part of any microphone stand you have. It's quite heavy So I hope it doesn't drag down my microphone stand. Okay, that's pretty tight. Okay, that was step two. Three, fix the support rod to the reflection filter by screwing it into the socket on the bottom edge. Tighten the nut using the spanner supplied in the box. It's quite light actually, this is quite light. I've heard these are quite heavy and they can uh, drag your microphone stand but this one is fairly light so I'm going to take this and I'm going to screw it into there that's screwed in and take a spanner and tighten it up ok that's pretty tight four fix the support rod with the attached reflection filter by pushing the support rod down into the socket on the stand clamp and tighten it in place with the turning key on the block. So, 
let's have a look. Looks like it's going to go in here. In here? In here. Oh, in here. That makes sense. That's it. Looks like we're done. Let's have a look at it. Looks pretty cool. And then it's got this uh, bit here for the microphone, I suppose. Nice. Well, that's it.